You've probably been on a date with a woman that you felt so attracted to, but you wanted to move things forward and you were blocked by something, right? And it was either from this fear of like, what if she rejects me? Or maybe you felt like, ah, I don't want to end up in a friend zone again, but then it would feel like it's blocking you, this whole thing, right? Or maybe you just didn't know what to say, right? Didn't know what to do. Like you just, well, fuck, I want to move things forward, but I don't know what to do and say, shit, right? I understand this because I was in this situation as well so many times. In fact, five to six years ago, when I was just starting to date, right? Like I was going outside, I was meeting women in the streets, in the bars, in the clubs. I was approaching a lot and I would start getting dates, right? But every single date I would have, if I would try to kiss the woman that I had in front of me, she would look at me and be in total shock. Like I would try to kiss her and then she would be like... <laughs> You know, and it was kind of an, it was really embarrassing, like uh, not fun for me because I was like, wait a minute, we're on a date right now. What do you expect from me? But for them, because I was so friendly, because I was so passive, because I was so uh, not masculine, uh, they were just not interested, right? For them, I was just a friend. And I hated to be in this situation because I was like so sexually frustrated i really was at the time i was super frustrated i wanted to express my desire i wanted to express my sexuality i wanted to explore uh what i can do with women uh, what kind of dynamic i can create and stuff like that and i just couldn't do that because i was just blocked at this stage of like how can i create sexual tension how can i make this sexual how can i create polarity right and that's when i got really really interested into the subject because it was a huge roadblock for me and luckily i had a mentor at the time that was uh this short guy like one meter 62 i don't know what is that in feet uh and uh, he was from chile and he was natural you know one meter 62 so fucking small but he was killing it with women and i remember him telling me but sasha you just need to dance with her you just need to, to look at her and eat her. You need to penetrate her, you know. And I would look at him and be like, dude, what are you talking about? I don't get it. <laughs> it was really funny because he was challenging me, right? He was trying to make me improve when he was saying that. And at the time, because my reality was so below his, right? He was so much out there, like so sexual, so polar polarizing. And I was not. For me, it was so hard to comprehend this. So I want this video to give you a simple method that you can apply right now that will help you create sexual tension, create attraction, and allow you to invite her home knowing that there is a high chance that she will have sex with you and that you're going to see each other again and again and again, right? And the first step is you need to recognize that you are probably anxious when you're on a date with her. And I know maybe you don't fully recognize it yet. You're like, wait a minute. No, I'm actually okay. It's flowing. It's good. It's okay. But really, you probably have anxiety when you're on a date with her. And what I'm going to challenge you right now is very simple. Next date, try to notice how your body reacts to her, right? And do that throughout the whole date. Try to notice like if there is any tension on your chest, maybe in your belly, maybe on your shoulders. And try to notice like how your body is evolving as the date goes by, right? And you will you will soon realize that you probably have a lot of tension, right? And that's usually due to seeking her validation. And I've made a video on this. So if you're really interested in diving deep into that, I recommend to watch it. Just check it out on my YouTube channel. But really, what it is all about is you just don't feel good enough in front of her, right? You feel like you don't deserve her. And that's why you need her validation. That's why you want her to like you, right? And there's so many ways to escape from this, right? You might learn technical game. You might learn like some pickup lines, some routines, what to say, what to do. But it's not going to help you because you're still feeling the anxiety. The anxiety is still running through your veins, my brother. So whatever you say, whatever you do, if you still seek her validation, how can she be attracted to you? How can she want you sexually when you seek her validation? Because look at it like this. She is here, you here, right? Because you care more about her than she cares about you. 
She's literally up and you down. She sees you as below her. No woman wants to have sex with a man that is below her. She has lost respect at that point. She has lost attraction. Because she knows that you cannot provide for her. You cannot protect her. Right? So her survival is at cost in that very moment for her. Of course, it's happening all unconsciously, right? She doesn't realize that. But her DNA is telling her that. So she will not want to go home with you, right? So you have to deal with the validation seeking. Check out my YouTube channel for this. I made a video on this. Second step, you have to learn to truly relax when you're on a date with her. And it's actually connected to seeking her validation because if you don't seek her validation, you should be relaxed. But you want to go even deeper into that, right? You want to notice like in your body, where is the tension? And you want to learn to release that tension because it's okay to have tension from time to time. We humans, we can have tension. It's okay. But we want to learn a process, a technique to release the tension, right? So a very simple way. And I have many techniques in my academy. So these are really for the guys that are serious about this. If you want to join, you can join. Just message me on Facebook Academy. I'll invite you. Uh, and there you have many techniques to really learn to relax when you're on a date with her. But here's one for you. Notice where is the tension. And then when you feel the tension, try to exhale it. Like really exhale it out. Imagine that you focus on the tension, really. You close your eyes. Maybe not on the date, right? But as a practice at home, you close your eyes. You feel the tension. And then you release that. And when you're on a date, without closing the eyes, you just notice the tension. And because you practiced it at home, you can just exhale and release that out, right? This can be a great way to cultivate this vibe of really being totally relaxed, grounded, and not seeking her validation. And this will make her attracted to you, right? Because she can see a man in front of her that is completely relaxed, completely. And for her, it's very rare when that happens, especially if you have a date with an attractive woman. It's very rare for her to have a date with a man that is just grounded and relaxed. So instantly, you're part of the top 1%, just with relaxation. This is the biggest DHV, right? Like, women will see you and be like, wow, who is this guy? He's probably high status, right? And then, as a third step, you want to unleash your wild side, right? You want to unleash your expression. You want to stop filtering yourself. You want to stop conveying values. You want to really stop all the bullshit that you have in your head that you have learned from all these coaches out there. And you just want to start expressing yourself freely, right? Because you have this genuine desire, right? You want her. So you have to learn to really express that with empathy, of course, but you have to really learn to let that out. And it doesn't matter how it manifests. Maybe you want to express that through your words. Maybe you want to express that through uh, touch. Maybe you want to express that through your eye contact, through energy, through emotions. There's so many different ways to do that. And I actually have a course on this in my academy that really teaches you all the ways right, to create this. So again, if you want to join, feel free. Send me a message on Facebook, Academy. I'll happily uh, welcome you in. And basically, when you unleash this wild side, it really allows you to penetrate her. Like you're already starting to have sex with her, but energetically, right? And this will slowly start to make her wet because she can feel the desire, right? And it's coming at her. It's like that. And she's going to feel it more and more and more. And then as a fourth step, as a bonus step, you combine that with practicing semen retention. Now, the thing about semen retention is this. If you don't circulate your sexual energy, don't do it. If you don't know how to circulate your sexual energy, don't fucking do it because you're going to go nuts. You might become needy and you're going to fuck up everything, right? That's why a lot of guys don't do this when they're dating actively is because when they start doing semen retention, they become too crazy, too needy because they haven't ejaculated for some time and they, you know, become a little bit crazy. So you really have to learn to circulate your sexual energy. And then when it's properly, properly circulated, basically what happens is your energy is amplified, right? You have more impact suddenly. You're more masculine and your eye contact will communicate that 
to the point that you can literally have sex with her already just with your energy. So maybe it's a little bit woo-woo to say that, but really it's actually happening, right? There's an energetic exchange happening between you and her just because you raised your sexuality, you raised your energy by not ejaculating and you combine that with unplugging from her validation, relaxing, unleashing your wild side and you are certain that she will be attracted to you she will want to go home with you she will take her clothes off and she will happily have sex with you because she has a man that is so special in her eyes and this is literally what i did in my journey to become this kind of man that can command attraction and respect like this right and i hope that this video can really help you see things a little bit differently so that you can apply this in your dating life from tomorrow, from today, and actually create a change. This is really what I want to hear from you in the comment section. Thank you, Sasha. I applied this. It worked so well. This will make me so happy. Thank you, my brother, for watching this, and I see you on the next video.